it's hot. It's hot in the shop, guys. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. Doing some work down here, taking a little break. Walk you through what I've learned, what, uh, what tips I could share, and see what we can all figure out and see if someone else out there can benefit from my experience. It's been a while since I filmed one of these. Been doing a lot of work. We got tailgate back here. Cab and the, the bed are pushed off to the side over here because they've already been uh, filled and, and uh, spot puttied and reprimed and everything. You can see my sample color up, uh, up there on the front of the bed. So let me walk through what I've learned, give you some quick product reviews, and we'll go from there. So I've filmed a video about this, but I never really edited it and put it up. But use this seam sealer around the bed seams here and inside of the bed here at the corners of the panels that we fixed uh, and around the back of the seams of the cab on the back side of there and on the sides of it there's some body seams that need filled um, it's really good stuff but you better put it only where you want to put on gloves get some a uh, jar of solvent handy and wipe and wipe and wipe while you can because otherwise uh, you'll do what I did and spend two and a half weeks of two or three nights a week sanding it out of the little crevices here and around there until you get things smooth because otherwise you'd have left a, I'd have left a groove so that's tip one so it works sparingly got it cool um, so right now we're using some spot putty on the doors um, to, to check things out so couple of different things there's some different brands out there um, the Bondo brand here just the regular stuff sands really well but watch out there's two types there's the regular looks fine then there's the professional ooh with a hardener and this you know what I don't have time for that this stuff works pretty well there's another brand out that's a 3M brand that came in a big giant tube, big honking tube of it that was bright green, like, well, not quite that green, a little bit more green than that actually, ugly kind of green. Um, it sanded like steel. So if you want something that really takes a lot of time to sand, go ahead with that. I don't want that. This, uh, the Bondo stuff sands pretty darn quick with 320 and 400. So I would use that. The next thing, and this is gonna be a no duh from all of you guys that have done this, but the Durablock sanding block set. I got a six block set, came with a thin one, came with a, two small ones, a round one and two flat ones and another long, real skinny one. Six block set, Amazon, 35 bucks. Awesome, get them. They, they leave a surface that is just glass smooth easy as can be especially when you couple it with this 3m stickum sandpaper this is the 320 it's self-adhesive on the back you don't have a paper that you peel and grab that's it this is the 320 it's not the most sticky but my hands are pretty dusty and it's stuck to my thumb without asking for it and it's oh by the way it's 95 degrees and about 70% humidity here. So that product again, winner, get that. I got a 320 and I got a roll of 400. Uh, keep them in plastic to keep the humidity from attacking them. So again, in, uh, in summation, what we've done is I've block sanded the hood with, uh, with those blocks, spot puttied all the little imperfections and reprimed it. Done the same thing to this fender here. We're on these two doors now. Now it's too hot, uh, even at, eight o'clock at night like it is now it's still too hot to prime we can't mix it's um, higher than the the temperature allowable outside of the range of materials on that so we've got that thing here we've got uh, this guy here we'll get the last little bit sanded down on it this is the passenger door it was pretty banged up lots of little spots of body filler already on it we're just finishing that up and she'll be glass smooth when we're done a um, couple of other tips um, so if you're using, well, we clean up in between coats with mineral spirits because it is an opposite solvent from what you would thin 
your primer and your paint with. Meaning that if you were to add this to primer, primer body is gonna go to sand. So this doesn't absorb in and doesn't soften your primer the way that lacquer thinner, which is what you would thin most of your auto body paints with and primers, lacquer thinner, or enamel reducer, that's the other name for it. Lacquer thinner, enamel reducer are the same thing. Wipe down with a wet, wet paper towel with mineral spirits, not too heavy because you don't want to build up, but use mineral spirits to clean in between. You don't have to buy these other Eastwood products and everything like that. Just wipe down with those two things down there. Um, the, so also let's run through here what paints we've got on here. So the green is an acid etch paint and if you see there's a little tiny brown line around there that's where the acid etch, the epoxy primer adhered to the metal really good. So that's, that's a good sign but it's not good that I've had to reopen it. Then we came over the top of that with urethane. This is a 2K urethane primer. Um, I'm going to say this was an Eastwood 2K urethane that we ended up over the top with it. I don't know that I'm going to ever use that again. I'm using now Nason. It's a DuPont product. It's their cheapest product, but it, that's the same type of paint that I'm going to use is Nason. It is going on really nice and easy. It activates well. It sprays pretty darn well. The, the Eastwood was just too thick. I'm, I'm, I'll come back to this one again. It's a little more. I don't care. I'll come back to this one again. Um, some guys might talk bad about Nason. Uh, it's, it's worked for me so far. So those are uh, my tips, my tricks, things that I've learned that might help some of you other guys out there. If anyone else finds this video and finds it interesting, you know, give me a good thumbs up. Any tips or questions? I don't have many subscribers and I'm not looking for them. This is just all stuff that I'm that I'm doing for myself and taking a moment here and there to figure out what I can learn and teach other people as well because if I learned it, chances are someone else wants to learn it too. So, um, and again, just coming on to it, coming, getting close to uh, finishing her up, getting to prime and paint. Ooh, cover the brand there on that one. Yeah. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Be lucky, be good, have fun.